I'm Ted from Everything Attachments and we're here with our heaviest disc. This is the model 300. This is the narrow model, the S model. We also have a wide model and when it shipped on the wide model because it goes over eight feet, we're going to have these gangs at the back which are apart right now. We're going to loosen up these U-bolts and slide them all the way together so the only thing you'll have to do after you get it is slide these back out where you want them because we do have to slide them in for transportation. Now this is a fully adjustable model. The more angle that these gangs have on them, the more resistance it makes for the tractor and the finer it's going to cut the ground. You can simply use this crank right here and adjust less angle into your gang. So the more you straighten them, the easier it'll pull, the less it's going to cut. I'm going to leave this in its most aggressive position to start with so it's going to cut harder. This has sealed bearings instead of friction bearings for long life. Makes them turn real easy. There's no greasing to do. No dirt can get into them. This is an all tubular frame disc instead of our angle iron disc on the lighter weight models. Standard three point hitch. This is our heaviest disc and this will go up to tractors with 60 horsepower, no problem. So we've already plowed it and you would always want to, if it's a garden, you're always going to want to plow before you disc. If it's a food plot, chances are you don't want to plow because you don't want to loosen the dirt up that deep. So you would go over it with a disc and just kind of loosen up the first four to six inches to be able to get your crop in so you don't have some erosion problems. We're going to do a drag hair after this and you can always drag this with a drag hair if you like that smooth look. And if this were a food plot, you would go over it with a cultipacker after this to restabilize the ground and leave your food, your little troughs to make your uh, ground stay moist. And the back of that disc is riding high and needs the top link adjusted. Hold on Kevin. Back of the disc is riding high. Lift it just a little. Not too much. Alright. So I made the top link longer, which is going to bring the back end of the disc down. Just breaking up all the clods, leaving it nice and smooth, ready for planting. Always remember that after, after about 30 minutes of use, to tighten and check the torque on your axle nuts because things shift around. So two passes of a disc hair will leave you with, with the same look as what a tiller is going to leave you with. So now for a lot of people are going to do the food plots and since this is an adjustable uh, angle here on, the, on your cutter blades, we're going to leave it in the most aggressive position. So if you were using for a food plot, you probably don't want that much ground loosened up. Whether you're planting millet, milo, depending on what type of hunting you're doing for a food, food plot, uh, and you just want to break the ground up so you can put your seed out with a broadcast spreader, this should do just enough breaking up. And you could go over it twice, but this is going to break it up without going really deep and upsetting your ground to where you could get a lot of washage. All right, give it a whirl, peanut. On the, now this is hard red clay. It's got wire grass and Bermuda, and this is unbroken ground. 
I can even hear the rocks under the soil. So about two passes, this wire grass, it's broken more than you think, but that wire grass just kind of holds it together. So you can definitely see why for a garden we recommend plowing before anything else. Okay, so this is probably the worst case scenario with all this wire grass here. So basically you can see it's torn the wire grass loose and it's gotten it down to where the dirt, where you'd still have a lot of stabilization to keep your crop that you're going to be planting because your crop's going to overgrow your grass pretty quick, shade it out, and then uh, continue to grow good. So you do get down, you get some loose dirt, and then you're going to be able to plant your uh, crop for your food plot without having a lot of washing and so forth. <laughs>